Welcome to Computational Science YouTube channel. In the previous class, we have seen about solution preparation. Today, we are going to see about chemical reactions. In chemical reaction, usually we have two substances, the reactant one and the new product which is going to be formed. So in this video, I will show you about combination reaction and also the working principle of Benson burner. In combination reaction, we have two reactants and only one possible product. For example, for combination reaction, we have two reactants, reactant A and reactant B. The new product formed is AB. So we have one product and two reactants, two reactants. So for this video we are going to produce magnesium oxide from magnesium metal plus oxygen it produces magnesium oxide so to balance this chemical reaction we have two oxygen here one oxygen from the product side and one magnesium from reactant side so to balance this chemical reaction add two here so two magnesium two oxygen to magnesium, to magnesium, to oxygen, and to oxygen. So this is a balanced chemical reaction for the production of magnesium oxide from magnesium metal and oxygen gas. Oxygen gas. So this is a solid. This is also a solid. So magnesium metal is a solid. Oxygen is a gas. We will. We are, we are going to get magnesium oxide, which is a white powder. A white powder. So. We can get magnesium oxide from magnesium metal and oxygen gas by using Bunsen burner as a heat of source. So this is this is a Bunsen burner which is used as a source of heat to produce magnesium metal by burning with oxygen. So to this have to be connected to the jar. This is. This is a Bunsen burner, this is a Bunsen burner, and this is a jar. This Bunsen burner has a valve, a valve which is, if it is closed, it denies or it prevents the oxygen from entering into the system. If this cork or valve is closed, it prevents oxygen from entering into the system. If it opens, it allows oxygen to enter the system. So let us connect this Bunsen burner to a jar which is contain hydrocarbon gas, hydrocarbon flammable gas. So this is called jar which contains hydrocarbon gas. So now connect this Bunsen burner to a hydrocarbon gas which contains hydrocarbon gas. So this is a valve, this is a valve which opens and closes the gas if it is opened the gas starts to flow from the jar to the Bunsen burner if it is closed the gas still stays in the jar so now it is closed to open just rotate it put it down now the gas starts to flow out so let us ignite, let us ignite, so, this is a Bunsen burner, this is a jar, this is a lighter, which is a source of uh, heat, so to connect just press the top part of it, now it is connected, so as you see from uh, this, now the the cork or the valve of Bunsen burner is opened, opened, so the oxygen enters into the system through this. So when the oxygen, you know, for in chemis chemistry of fire, the oxygen enhances, increases the potential of fire to burn something. So if the oxygen is present, there is a blue flame. This is a part of your observation. When a valve or Cork of Bunsen burner opened, the light of the flame was what? 
بلوفني سو وين ذا كورك اور ذا بلب اوف بنسن برنر كلوزد ذا لايت اوف ذا فليم واز وات ات از يلو فليم يلو فليم ناو which one is hottest the yellow flame or the blue flame the blue flame is the hottest one because what because why why since when the gas the in the valve opened it turns to blue flame now there is oxygen within the system since oxygen enhances the potential of fire to burn the blue flame is the hottest part so to get magnesium oxide magnesium oxide we have a magnesium metal this is a magnesium metal so hold this magnesium metal by using a clamp then he heat it until it turns to a powder or ash which is magnesium oxide Yeah. Now we are burning a magnesium metal to get a magnesium oxide, which is a yellow powder, a yellow powder, a white powder. Now we have definitely produced magnesium oxide. So this white powder is a magnesium oxide, which is formed from magnesium metal a piece of magnesium metal and oxygen gas so this white powder is called a magnesium oxide magnesium oxide so as we have as we have stated before uh, combination reaction is only two product two reactants and only one product so we have one product only which is powder a white powder or ash which is magnesium oxide from which reactant from piece of magnesium metal and oxygen gas we have produced a sodi solid magnesium oxide this is all about combination reaction so to close to close the uh, flow of gas just thumb up the valve of the gas thumb up now since it is closed and to open thumb it down so this is all about the working principle of Benson burner and combination reaction if you are a new member to our channel don't forget to subscribe and share to your friends thank you a lot